And every time I shine, it be for my people. It be for my people. Great rising to the family. This is your good brother, second son. That's second with a K. S U N. Because I am Carolyn's second son. Today we're going to delve into uh, Matthew 7 and 7. Let's see if we can make sense out of it. Because again, we want to be, we want to be for sure about what we are living and what we're believing. You see, about ourselves, uh, 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 etc. About you know who we really are in depth, like in spiritual depth. We got to define ourselves, family, spiritually. We got to know that we are, we possess a spirit man that's connected directly to our physical carnal self. We got to know that. So uh, this machinery, of course, come with a manual. You know how you got to break the manual out and see, you know, how to run this machine. You see how that works, family? We go to the Holy Scripts for that. On this land mass, we already know. And what we call the wilderness of North America is the Holy Bible. So with that being said, we got to know the language. We got to know the, the etymology of these words that's in the Bible. And we got to go far, far uh Back in time, as it relates to defining these words in its in their uh, etymological sense, we got to go far back in time. You see, we can't just use, in other words, we just can't use the English language to define what these words really mean in these holy scripts or spiritual texts. Okay. Matthew 7 and 7 say, uh, what does it say? Matthew 7 and 7. Uh-huh. Seek and ye shall find. That one. You, 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 you remember? So we got to know who we seeking to find. Ask. And it shall be given unto you. You see, Matthew 7 and 7. Asking ye shall receive. Seek. Ye shall find. Knock. At the door, remember? And the door is going to open. Now, the question is, who are we, when we saying asking, asking ye shall receive, who are you asking? See, that's important to know. Seek. Who are you seeking? Who are you seeking out to, to find? Knock. What door are you knocking on? You see? And that door going to be open. Because it's important to logically approach this thing, you see? And we're not going to go to the enemy's door and knock on that door and ask nothing. Ask to receive nothing. That, that's not going to make sense. Seek over there at the enemy's door. Well, what are you saying, brother second son, the enemy's door? That mainstream door that was created, you see, this entity or concept, for that matter, was created to abuse me. So why would I go to, you see, that door or not. Where this entity right here is set up, you know what I mean? 1776. Set up to abuse humanity. So why would I go to that door? You see? Via independent school district and Sunday school. You see? Because again, if I'm going to this 1776 door, Asking, seeking, knocking. We already know that this door is directly connected to a group of human beings 
that said uh, to my ancestors, because when we're talking Native Americans, that's me. That's us. You see? That's the brown skin uh, 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 humanoids of the Earth planet when we're talking Native Americans. That, that's my people. So we know that this entity or concept or corporation that was created in 1776 handed handed some blankets to some human beings say oh yeah let me yeah you cold yeah you you, you, look, you, you know what I'm saying you 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 it's a little nippy out here okay I got a blanket for you and within the blanket was wrapped up disease you see so when we really think about that thing like now I know I shouldn't go to this group of people and ask for nothing as it relates to bettering, you know, myself. If I can make up a word, bettering or the betterment of my situation, if you will. You see, it wouldn't make sense to go to the opposing team, the opposing coach that's already set up all kind of rituals to abuse me. You see? So when we're talking about Matthew 7 and 7, ask, seek, knock, it's not going to make sense for me to go to my open enemy for none of that. So what are you saying, Brother Second Son? What, what, what's the whole point? The whole point is that ye are gods, and you have to know that for yourself. See? Then you will act like it. Meaning, you, 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 you're not going to this system, you see, that was designed to abuse you for no reparations of any form. Zero. That's not how it's set up. Now, you see? Black codes. 1724. You see? You, 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 you got to know who you dealing with? These, these this is a moralless, see, moralless entity here. Don't go, 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 put, go, put disease in the black. Hey, yeah, come on, let me wrap you up. I see you, you, you. It's a little chilly out here for you. And we can, we can, we can, we can trace the blankets with smallpox in them to vaccinations. Come on now, I'm saying when we logically think about this thing, family. When we logically think about it. Okay? So again, the whole fact of the matter is, it's, it's very imperative that we know who we are so we won't be going to the opposing coach for no type of direction. You see? For no type of direction. Because that's not going to make sense. You, you, we already can trace the timeline here and see that, man, look, these people don't have a heart, soul, or none of that. You see? So it's not going to make sense at all for me to go ask, seek, and knock on that one of them doors. Because that's the opposing team. They already have established the fact that they are my open enemy. Ritual after ritual from the late 1500s to today. We got too much hard evidence, family, showing us that, oh, no, man, ain't nowhere in the world that this entity is going to grant me any form of reparations. So when I ask, I need to know who God is. Who is God? You looking at God when you look in the mirror. That's first. You got to know that because then we're talking about universal and natural law. You see? Cosmic law. To where you you turn the ownership on who? You. And see that, hey, yeah, it's on me. I got the, I am my reparations. I am the lotto. You know what I mean? But I got to know who I am, though, of course. 
to be able to act that out in real time. You see? So when I'm asking, I'm asking my pineal, mine, it need to be in a decalcified state. Because that's God. That's my connection to the universal God, my pineal. You see? So again, when it comes to asking, seeking, knocking, I'm asking self to get, do some things. And of course, we, we know that there is a higher power, what we can, you know, just simply call divine intelligence. But this divine intelligence has many different names. Ra, Jah, Allah, God, Jah, Yahweh, etc. But this divine intelligence that's universal, you see, it plays no uh, political games, you see. This universal law, it does not uh, exclude a certain individual or human being. It's available to all humanity, you see. And the whole connection is dependent on, you see, this divine connection where you get divine intuition, to where your, your steps are really ordered by God. This pineal has to be in a decalcified state. Once again, and that decalcified state is directly related to lifestyle. Walk with me. You see? See how that, it ain't, you see, it don't discriminate. All you got to do is line up with universal law. You see? With divine law. You see? And then... You now you turning reparations into your own hands, like it was designed to be. Man, heal thyself. Man, know thyself, and to thine own self be true. There's laws that govern self, that has nothing to do with organization, denomination, or none of that. It's what that pineal do. That's what it is. That's what we gotta know. And the, uh, don't let nobody fool you into believing anything different. It's, it's all about how healthy is this machine, see? Because this is your main motor right here that run it. And this motor gives out direction. Say, man, yeah, go here. Yeah, hey, yeah, go do this today. Yeah, now today. Not next week, not next year. See? Intuition. So again, we leave you with that. Lesson for today, family. Uh, who you asking? Who you seeking out for the answer? And what door is you knocking on? Because if you're knocking on the open enemy's door, you're going to continue to be sick. And we know that poverty is a sickness. We trying to rid ourselves of that. Poverty. You see? By any means necessary. You understand? Walk with me. Take that lesson with you today, fam. This is your good brother, second son. That's second with a K. It's you in. Because I am Carolus. Second son. Until the next time. Peace. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door.